Nezi. Babe. Martin. Affectionately known as Mama Nezi. Super Mom. We were born in Alabama. Uh, I used to tell people it was South America because it was like a third world country. Dirt roads, outhouses, no indoor plumbing or anything like that. In order to cook, you had to cook on wooden stoves. My mom had 14 kids. How she did that, I don't know. She was the most Christian person that I know. She was always reading the Bible. She was always instilling Jesus Christ in our lives. If you had a problem or anything like that, and you went to mom about it, she pulled out the Bible and gave you the answer. She never took sides on anybody. She never took one side or the other side. It was always scripture. She used to come in as a teenager, and you know what teenagers go through, especially with boys. And she used to come in and pray with me and talk to me and stuff, and she didn't think I was listening, but I was. And to this day, I just remember a lot of the stories that she told me in my bedroom. She just always had good advice. I used to grab my mom sometime and tickle her and she'd fall to the floor just like a little kid. And, and it was just joy in my heart to see her like that, just laughing. And a lot of times when I started missing her, I started thinking about all the things that she did for me, all the things that she helped me with throughout my life. She was just a remarkable, one in a lifetime type of mom. I wished everybody could experience the joy that my mama gave. I never know anyone in my lifetime that disliked my mom. She had a good heart, good spirit, enjoyed it. I can't tell you how many people that have said to her, you're my mom. They wanted to, my mom to be their mom also. I think about my mom often. And if I'm doing something that I don't think is right, you know how you got that subconscious in the back? I, see, I, I can see my mom whispering in my ear, don't do it, don't do it, you know that's wrong because that was instilled in me. To all you mothers out there, I'd like to wish you a happy Mother's Day, and I hope that you can instill some of the joy in your kids' lives or your family's life that my mom gave me. I am the sixth child of Nezi and the third daughter. She, has, she was the mother of 14 children, seven girls and seven boys. I want to let you know that even though there was 14 of us, each one of us felt as if we were the only one because of the love that she exhibited to us, the love and care that she provided. She always found time to be with each one when they needed her. And most importantly, she taught us how to love the Lord, how to give your life to Christ wholeheartedly and no compromise. And she did that by example not just by word, but by example. She was and always will be dear to my heart. My mom has gone on to be with the Lord and she went to the Lord on Mother's Day to know that God says, well done, my good and faithful servant. I bring you home to be with me for eternity. And I'd like to say to all of you mothers out there, Happy Mother's Day, and may God continue to strengthen you as you yourselves endeavor to do His will. I have the awesome pleasure of speaking about my grandmother, Mama Nezi. My kids call my mom, my mom, because it's not a grandma that they see her as, they see her as a second mom. And I feel the exact same way about my grandmother, Mama Nezi. Um, one of the things that I remember the most about her that was so influential to me was the fact that she was my preschool teacher. I got a chance to go to school where she was teaching and not only to be there with her, but be in the classroom and being taught by her was just an amazing experience. I remember um, the different projects that we did. I remember her patting my back. And subsequently, 
those memories made me want to go into education because she was so loving and she was so caring and it was fun to be in her classroom. And when I decided to go into education, I thought that I was going for elementary school. But when I got um, partly through my degree and was doing some teaching in preschool, I was absolutely in love. And so she was instrumental to that. And as a matter of fact, I still have some of her books um, that when she did pass that I was able to keep her collection and it even still has her name in it and her handwriting and some of her notes that are in here and she was just an extraordinary lady she was just so patient and so kind when she taught and and I learned a lot from not only just her being in the classroom, but just her being um, my grandmother. And um, she also just impacted a lot of other people in the neighborhood because of how she taught just through everyday experience. I am just so honored to be her granddaughter and to be able to pass that experience down to my four children. And I was my four children's preschool teacher as well. Um, because the legacy was passed down down from my grandmother to me and hopefully one of my children. Um, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all those women who influence, um, all those mothers who influence and just have a blessed Mother's Day. One of the last memories that I have of my mom is at her funeral. I remember standing in the doorway, watching all the hundreds of people piling into the church, showing their respect, talking to the family, letting us know what an impact my mom had on her life. Before the evening was over, it was standing room only. We had to have police outside directing traffic because people couldn't even get in the building anymore. I remember standing there thinking, God, if I could only impact half the people that my mom did in her lifetime, I'd be doing something great. Mother's Day, it brings a little bit of sadness to me because my mom passed away on Mother's Day. But because it brings a little bit of sadness, it also brings back memories of what I said that day. And because of that, Mother's Day to me, reminds me that I still have a lot of work to do. I still have a lot of lives to touch. God still has plans for me. So as you enjoy Mother's Day, as we spend time today celebrating our moms, let's make this day about somebody else. Ask God, God, who is it that I can be a blessing to today? To all of our mothers out there, I just wanna say, Happy Mother's Day.